Welcome to HU16 Live at 5, I'm Cody with your sports. Have you heard the news? Harding Academy has entered their inaugural season of soccer and they are doing well. Last night the Wildcats played their very first home game against Heber Springs. After a quick score the Academy found themselves down 3-1, but thanks to a good ball movement and solid defense they tied it up late 3-2. The Panthers would hold on for the win however 3-2. Their next game is tomorrow night at 5 at home against Crowley's Ridge Academy. Spring is just around the corner. The temperatures are warming up, so that means baseball and softball is heating up. HU16's Grant Clemens has more. Grant? Thanks, Cody. Next week, while you and I are on the beach or on the road, a group of Harding athletes will be hard at work. Spring break may be a time of relaxation and time with family for most. But the Bison baseball team and Lady Bison softball team have other plans. Practice for anywhere from four to five hours, and then we will have time to go shower, and then we will go to a host, a host somebody will host us at their house. Probably practice most days late morning or, or early afternoon. Uh, you know, we'll allow the guys to have some downtime. Usually, typically there's a lot of fishing that goes on. With less students and faculty on campus, the players really only have each other. We're always together, we have a good time together, and it is a chance to you know, not have the responsibilities of a normal week in terms of the academic workload. And uh, you know, just be together, go eat, hang out, you know, maybe watch some TV and relax for once. The Bison baseball team talked about one common theme of spring break each year, and that's the constant tarping and untarping of the field. The baseball team will also be taking a break from practice and untarping the field to go out into the community. We'll have a day of service. We'll go out uh, to uh, Westside Elementary and we'll read out there. And um, we'll usually spend a little bit of time at Harding Place also with the, with the residents out there. The baseball and softball teams also have two series to play and prepare for. Both teams will be in action on Friday, weather permitting. Back to you, Cody. Thanks, Grant. As we get into the swing of things, let's look at some tennis. The Lady Bison's tennis team put on a clinic yesterday, downing Henderson State 7-0. That victory pushes their win streak to six matches, giving them a record of 9-1 on the season. Sophomore Hannah Foles picked up a perfect 6-0-6-0 victory in her match, never losing a game. Riley Cox and Arisa Takanashi also picked up a clean 6-0 victory in their doubles match. The Lady Bison's will travel to Topeka, Kansas, March 15th to take on a tough Washburn team who is also off to a hard start. The men's tennis team is coming off of a two-week break March 10th to take on Abilene Christian at home. Finally, for the coolest thing I saw, we take you to Lubbock, Texas. For Texas senior night, Brandon Francis got a very special surprise. He looks into the rafters and he sees his mom, who hey, he hasn't seen in two years. She made the trip to campus. What a moment for the senior. Little icing on top for Francis, Texas Tech got the victory 70-51. Usually an outstanding play finishes up my segment, but sports can be just that powerful. That's all for me, and back to Coleman and Michaela.